Hi there, Gary Fong here, and I want to explain to you uh, how to do custom white balance. Custom white balance is something that uh, you need to do if you're uh, in, in a situation where you need to reproduce exact colors. For example, right here I've got this real funky colored pink brush here. And uh, if my color is incorrect uh, with the available light, then this is not going to be correct. Now the thing is, is that uh, what is going to change the color if the ambient lighting around here is too uh, orange or too green or something like that, then that's going to make this too orange and too green. So what we need to do with custom white balance is we need to make sure that um, we have calibrated our uh, our color of light uh, so that it's a perfectly neutral gray like this. And uh, what typically happens is uh, if you're in a light situation that's kind of strange, like right here, I've got one of these cool little mini studios, but it has fluorescent light. And fluorescent light uh, is very, very variable. Uh, it can be really green or it can be not as green and things like that. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a custom white balance, which means that the light that's going to be uh, coming onto my subject is completely neutral. And that will give you 100% accuracy. Now, how is that done? Well. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. One is you can uh, use one of these really super expensive uh, color meters. And uh, the thing about uh, a color meter is that uh, they have these domes. You see that? So what happens with these domes is that it picks up the uh, temperature of the light completely all the way around the room. So it's very important that we have it um, around like that. There are uh, this one that I bought in the store for about 150 bucks, and um, and it's it's got this little uh, pattern which picks up light. But the thing is, is that it's completely flat. And what happens is, is if there's light coming from above or around the side and things like that, um, light only travels in a straight line and not in a curve, so it won't pick up the light that's coming around the sides. That's what's cool about uh, these dome things. Well. Uh, the dome that comes with a light sphere collapsible is uh, luckily neutral and also it's a dome. So what I can do is I can use this to measure the uh, color of the light completely all the way around the room and then uh, make sure that I have a neutral color balance. So what I'm going to do, uh, very very simple, is on my camera I'm going to take a reference image and uh, it's very uh, good idea to put it on manual focus or else uh, you'll never get this thing to focus. And now this is very very important. Don't go up to the camera and shoot toward the subject with your uh, dome on because what that'll do is that'll only give me the light that's coming in all around me right here where I'm standing. And that's not the light we want to measure. We want to measure the light that's where the subject is going to be. Or say for example I'm doing a portrait and I want to do an accurate color. I'll put the camera right next to my subject and take a picture like that. But when I'm in here uh, and I want to get a really good uh, accurate color, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put the camera inside here like that and I'll aim the lens toward where the camera is and that's you and I'll take one picture like this and that'll be my reference image. Now when we look at it you'll see that uh, this is I'll just hit play you'll see that this is kind of a bluish uh, and that's uh, simply because there's so much light coming in uh, from uh, different light sources that's completely confusing it. Again we want to have the light look exactly like this, not like this. So what happens with custom white balancing is it's going to take this light here and turn it into this and when it's neutral like this that means that you've got a perfect color because it's like it's, it's the, the calibrating of the uh, color. And that's basically how we do the live calibration. Now the in-camera setup's uh, different for the different cameras and I'll show you how that works for all the different models.